much. Uh, truthfully, I'm not trying to give out all the secrets still, so. What? Why? <laughs> this generation <laughs> needs it more than any generation. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for day, I think we're on eight of Vlogmas. As you can see, I have a very special guest with me today. For those of you who don't know, well, you've probably seen him in my other vlogs, but you haven't officially, officially met him. This is my fiance, Andrew. Oh my God, are you gonna say hi? Hi, hi. Holy shit. So today we're gonna be doing a and A. Um, I had a lot of requests um, to do a and A with him. So I've been on Instagram and, you know, posted a question on my story asking what you guys would like to ask us or what you want to know about us and I got a lot of questions so I'm gonna try to keep this video like under 20 minutes but I feel like we could go on and on yeah like we got a lot of questions so, so we don't have to answer all of them. you're right we don't we probably will we'll make another video um, in the future but yeah we're gonna try to keep this video short and while we talk we're gonna wrap some gifts cuz you know I'm efficient like that and I like to kill two birds with one stone so that's what we're doing right now, and let's just get right into it. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so enthusiastic. Okay, so where's my first gift? Okay, let me do this one. Okay, so the first question, actually this question I got asked a lot. It was like three different people sent it to me, but first one is, do we want more kids? Do we want more kids? <laughs> We're done. We've literally, I've literally been pregnant my entire 20s. I'm about to be 30 next year, and I think that we are done. Three boys is enough. Like, having Che, it's a big difference going from two to three. So, um, yeah, for now, we are done. But who knows in the future? I don't know. I'm done. I'm done? So that goes to our next question. I, I'm just going to jump right into the next one. Someone's like, do we think about or do we wish that we had a girl or do we wonder what it would be like to have a girl where is i mean i wanted a girl but now that we have three like i don't i don't want a girl i don't want a boy i don't want no more kids <laughs> like that's it yeah we we were hoping that che was actually going to be a, a girl uh, i always said if i had a girl my girl would be like the biggest tomboy ever because like, I'm a top boy. Have we started our wedding planning? No. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Because we're busy with other shit, man. Huh? Yeah, we've been, you know, there's a lot going on. When he proposed to me, which was like officially a year ago, Christmas Day, um, like right after that, I, or I was pregnant at the time, so then we had Chamberlain, and then, you know, just other life events happened, and, yeah, like, it seems like our wedding has been put on the back burner because there's more important things that we kind of need to take care of first. But I know that we will be getting married in 2020. Yeah? Yeah. Do we know about destination or staying here? Uh, I thought we wanted to do, like, the destination thing and then have, like, a small ceremony. Type of thing. Yes! So you are listening! Okay! Jeez! It never listens to me. No, no. You lately you haven't basically two weddings. Like I don't know who the hell we think we are, but that's the plan. And in 2020, not next year, um, but 2020. 2020 is a good year. Like I like that. You know, well, 2020. The sound of 2020 just sounds good to me. So that's where we're at with our wedding plan. Do we have matching tax? Yeah. Yes, we do. We both got okay. So I we, made up this. this no, 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 no. Don't even, don't even okay, I made up this thing. We're both Andrew and Ash just like came up with a square. She like, did not. Yes, she I did. did. Not he can, he that. will tell you that he did, but he is lying. No, he didn't. 100%. He didn't. Anyway, so we decided to get these matching. Everything. No, you didn't design this. The tattoo artist designed this. I'm good at math. Oh yeah. my god, what does that have to do with anything? You don't even, she didn't even know what A squared is. Oh my god, that is not true. She didn't even true. know what A squared was. I have to break anyway, it down. yeah. Anyway, I came up with it. So we have it on our wrist, A squared. Next question. Who has the better mix? Like mix. Like, okay, so I'm half um, like Irish, Filipino, Scandinavian, Canadian. And what's your mix? Black and white. Black and white, no, but like more specifically. My, um, my dad's Trinidadian, 
and my mom is Portuguese. So like, who has the better mix? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have say, to say him. I'm gonna say definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I'm gonna say you are. You do have a very good mix. I mean, Portuguese food. Yeah. I never knew Portuguese food till I met him, and I don't know how I was living all those years because it's amazing. Like, I've been missing out, like, badly. So. Shout out you know. to the Portuguese people. Shout out to the pork chops out there, you know? But like, don't get me wrong, like, I love being half Filipino, half white. Like, I love my mix. I'm very proud of my culture and all that. But I do, like, his mix is pretty dope. But my mix is, like, dope too. Like, what do you guys do to keep the love alive? What do we do? What do we do to keep the love alive? <laughs> well, we got three kids, so I'm just <laughs> I was joking, <laughs> but we do do that. We do do. We do do the. You know, that does, that does help keep the love alive, to keep things spicy and whatnot. I don't know. We just we like to do fun things. Like I, I love hanging out with him. We hang out all the time. Spend quality time is really awesome. important. Yeah, he's he's really fun, and we. <laughs> He's, like I said, he's my best friend. So making time for each other, that's how we keep the love alive. Um, doing different things, trying different new experiences together that we might not have done. Um, that's, we've done that too as well. And I think we're like, I think we're ourselves. You know what I mean? We don't yeah. front, we don't try to be. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, something we're not. not. Like we have fun. Like, like fun fun, it's not like, fun. you know, oh, Instagram fake relationship fun, like goofy, yeah. stupid, nerf wars, prank wars, silly fun, you know? Believe it. I'm not trying to give out all the secrets still, so. What? Why? <laughs> this generation needs it more than any generation. Like, what do we love most about each other? The thing that I love most about you is the fact that I have so many things to choose from. That is so corny. What? No, no, you're not getting away with that. Give me a damn answer. I need. That's my answer. No, no, no. Nah, -uh. you gotta be more specific. Nice try. Jeez, so much stuff. Yeah, he can't think of one thing. So many. My mind is. Oh my god. Okay, what I love about most about Andrew is parents are kids. I think he's a, an amazing dad. I love watching um, his relationship with them. I love how, watching him interact with his family. And I think he's, you know, gen, gen, like a genuine nice person. And um, yeah, like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like he tries to come off like this tough guy. And like, he's so cool, but like, he's a soft. I'm tough as shit. No, he is, okay, he is a tough guy when he has to be, but like I love seeing that soft, nice side, like that squishy, cuddly bear side of you. You're, um, you're creative, very creative, you know, you're very artsy, you're, you're talented, like you can do, you can do anything. Aww. Um, right, I can. Uh, you, you, you embrace challenges. Cool. You know? but, uh, you're also strong. Strong like me. Yeah, that's you know that's a good thing. Like we're both strong-willed individuals. Like it works, you know, for us and against us sometimes. But yeah. Okay, babe. Oh, that's really sweet. The most important advice to keep a relationship going. <laughs> So if you don't know, we've been actually together for 10 years, like a decade, legit a decade. When you say a decade, that just makes me feel mad old. You gotta be patient. You gotta be, I don't know, man. I don't even know how we got this far. Like, to be <laughs> honest with you, like. So... What do you mean? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> nah, you just have to, um, you know, it, it, you just have to really love the person that you're with. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't really love that person, then things are never going to work out. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like, I feel like the love is there, the real genuine love that's going to take you guys for many years to come and everything else will kind of just fall into place. And, you know, working on things will be worth it because you want to work on it with that person. Like, trust me, this kind, there's been times, let me tell you, but I genuinely, it's like my best friend, cornball, and I love him very much. So. 
whatever obstacle we've been faced with like it's to me it's worth it like he's worth it at the end of the day um, my family like the family that we built the life we've created it's it's all worth it to me at the end of the day uh, so yeah it's really just I don't know I don't know how you keep a relationship going love's got to keep it going it's not honestly it's not that hard like it's, it's, it's yeah. pretty simple it's pretty straightforward I mean at the end of the day if if you're serious about the person you know you're gonna do whatever it takes to make it work you know compromise is key yeah yeah that's true compromise that's that's a good point actually compromise is key in I a mean, relationship not to say you should never put your foot down but compromise is definitely is definitely key how do you deal with people trying to holler at your significant other via social media well first of all uh, I don't have to deal with that shit, you know what I mean? Because hopefully you're dealing with it. Uh, Amen. Good answer. I'm dealing with it. I mean, I'm. Are you? I'm filtering everybody that's hitting the DMs, you know? And then. Uh, oh, so you're saying that people are hitting your DM? I didn't even get to Because, finish. like, okay, go. Jeez. So I'm filtering through the DMs, and I'm just, you know, if. If I see something that I like, then I, I show Ashley, and if she's cool with it, then... Oh my god, cool you're so <laughs> dumb! <laughs> what the hell are so you telling cool. these people right now? That is not true. Like, it's true, man. No, it's not. Answer the question. How do you nah, deal nah, with it? Truthfully, this? though, um, that's not something that, like... That's not, that's not even an issue, because at the end of the day, I mean... You can handle that. You deal with it. Like, if people are hitting the DMs, you ignore them. Mm -hmm. Any kind of attention at all? Don't entertain it. I you agree. Mean, if you're happy. You don't. You don't entertain that stuff. I agree. You know, so you, you you get enough of an ego boost from posting pictures and getting likes. You know what I mean? The DM gonna mean shit. It's not real. So. Uh -huh. Amen. I mean, I shouldn't have to deal with telling him to handle girls in his DM. That's what we're doing. Then this isn't for me. You know what I mean? You feel me? You feel me? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right. Next question. Did we ever break up? And uh, advice we have for couples who are going through difficult times. So, have we broken up? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Several times. I don't know about several. Like, I can really only think about one time. What are you talking about several? Really? One time, yeah, one time. Maybe in your mind then. Hmm. One time. We broke up. One time we broke up and it was for like, I don't know, a couple weeks. And, mm, I don't think so. Yeah. It definitely wasn't. Yeah, we broke up. Um, we were going through issues. Um, this was like probably when Carter was first born. So like eight years ago, we broke up. Um, and that was pretty much the only time. I don't really believe in like, we've talked about it before. Oh, you know, like, oh, would you take a break if you needed one? And I'm like, no. We uh, we don't need to do that here. Like you know, if you need if he needed a break for me, I would respect that. But don't think I'm gonna be here waiting for you at the end of the day. You know, so you run that risk of losing what we have if you want to break with me. But to answer the question, yes, we did break up about eight years ago for I don't know a month, maybe what? even less. And yeah, that's that. Next question, advice we have for couples who are going through it. That's, that's just life, man. Like, you're gonna get through it. Like we said earlier, like, if you, if this person is worth it to you, like, okay, what, there's this saying, it's like, um, oh shit, I think Bob Marley says it. Basically, something about, like, you know, loving the perfect person or. Just of it is like nobody is perfect. So there's a lot of things that I don't like about him and there's a lot of good and bad. And it's like, what outweighs what? Like, does the good outweigh the bad? Like, are there more good times than there are bad times? And if if you sit there and you write out a list and it's all majority good and there's just a few little, you know, bad things, bad times, then to me, that's worth working out and it's worth per persevering through your relationship. But I mean, if there's like a whole slew of negatives, then, you gotta reevaluate what you're looking for and why are you you're sticking around this long. Yeah, like the relationship is just like it's just meeting somebody who you you enjoy 
yeah. enough to put up with their bullshit. Yeah, that was the thing. That was the saying. Is it? Or something. It was something along those lines. Yeah. Just loving them enough to deal with their flaws. Loving them enough to deal with their flaws. Exactly. And that's it. Like, so there are going to be bad times, rough times. And you just got to think to yourself, is this person worth it? Is this person worth me going through what I'm going through right now? Um, do I want to be with this person at the end of it all? Like, what do I want? It starts with self-reflection first. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. If you're not good, like, if you're not, like, mentally good, you can't take on someone else's... Um, Bullshit. Yeah. The biggest obstacle we have faced as a couple and how did we overcome it? Mm. That was a tough one. Getting a little too personal. I know, that's what I was say. That's real personal. Uh, we broke up way back when. Like, that was a lot of. Yeah, I think that was the biggest obstacle. I mean, I think, I think, okay, I think the biggest obstacle for us, we were very young when we started dating, so we, you know, we had, we were not perfect, basically, I'm gonna say. And I think the biggest obstacle for both of us is learning how to trust one another again. And I think that's something that we're still kind of working on. Like, nah. it's a work in progress. No. Yeah. No. no. You don't trust me. I mean, Shoot. like... Of course you do. <laughs> it's like, it's not that I don't trust you, it's more like... I'm just, I tell my, I've learned to tell myself, like, okay, like, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. It's like, it's more just within me. Like, when you, when you break trust, like, in the rest of the relationship, I find that it makes it very hard. Like, you're just constantly at a battle with yourself in your own mind because of what that other person has done to you. You know what I mean? But it's up to you whether you want to continue with it or not. And I mean, I chose to continue with it. That's something that I deal with. And he chose to continue with it as well. I think, I, think people, I think people just take things a little too serious, you know? What does that mean? I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of the shit that people get upset about in relationships is it's actually not that serious, you know? Mm. There's a lot of other... That's like speculation, though, because like what's not serious to you might be very serious to me. Yeah, but overall, it's not that serious, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I guess, I yeah, there's more serious things going on. Yeah, I guess. Like, but like, yeah, I don't know. I think that's like my biggest obstacle with him. Carter was born, like we were, uh, like I said, 20 years old, living situation wasn't great, so we were both like living at my mom's house or my parents' house, and you know, it didn't work out, and there was a lot of like friction between my family and Andrew, and you know, I see both sides of it, but like, it just, it got ugly at, at one point, and it, that's when I basically moved out, and never went back, like 10 years I haven't been living on my own now, um, so that was an obstacle that we had to overcome because it was hard like you know him not my family not really accepting the situation or not accepting him and it put me in a weird position because you know like at the end of the day this is my man I'm gonna stand by him but I also you know I, I it's my parents you know and I now that I have kids it's like oh well shit like what if that happens to me and my kids and you know how would I feel whatever but at the end of the day it's my life and the, the, my men and men of my dreams so they had to accept that and you know things are, are better now yeah i don't know if that i don't even know if that was the toughest oh my god well i'm just sitting here naming stuff and you're just sitting there like this like this was fun babe i enjoy having you in my videos you should be in them more often no don't you think don't you guys think i gotta get used to this like i'm not used to it. this I'm guy very private person i'm not i'm not really so private, but he's the one that's like, babe, you should do vlogging. Like, you you're, should you're do vlogging. You're interesting, but you're part of my life. So you need to be in it just as much as I am. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I feel like I'd be way more successful if you were more a part of it. Agree or disagree, guys? Let him know in the comments. Show this guy some love so he starts making more cameos than my freaking vlogs. Come on, didn't you have fun? Wasn't it fun? I always have fun with you guys. <laughs> anyway. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you like this video. Tell Andrew to be in my videos more. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but you know, we'll see. Anyway, bye guys.